These are the five most pressing questions for Apple to answer in 2018. Apple's had a pretty great 2017 with the introduction of the iPhone 10, but Apple needs to answer some questions if it wants to have an excellent 2018. For this, we're ranking these questions from least important to most important. However, they're all important. Coming in at number five is, does touch come to the Mac in a bigger way? Right now, the MacBook Pro with its touch bar is the only Mac with touch, and it's pretty limited. PCs have had touch screens for a long time now, so what's Apple going to do? The iPad Pro has a lot more computer-like functionality, so people may be getting used to doing complicated things with an Apple Touch interface. Are we going to see more convergence between iOS and OS X? And wouldn't that need touch on OS X? Okay, that's too many questions. At number four is how deep will Apple get into the entertainment business? Remember when iTunes was the place to get movies and TV shows? Well, that was a long time ago. With things like Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Hulu competing for your dollars, how far will Apple go to develop its own shows? We've seen Planet of the Apps. Okay, we've heard of it. Apple is also working with Steven Spielberg to revive amazing stories for 10 episodes. Will it appear on Apple Music like Apple's other originals? Or should it somehow tie into the Apple TV? Again, this question raises even more questions. Number three, where does Apple go with augmented and virtual reality? iOS 11 brought ARKit, Apple's augmented reality programming interface. With it, you can place virtual objects in the real world using apps. Apple already has around 1,000 AR apps. There are rumors of Apple Glasses, which could work with AR and VR. Will Apple diversify its hardware offerings by selling a new wearable? That could fuel app development. Let's face it, when Apple hops on a bandwagon, things frequently change. Great AR could make Apple products stand out from every other competitor. At number two, what does the iPhone lineup look like in 2018? The iPhone 10 is supposed to be the future. Well, how quickly will that be Apple's present? The iPhone 10 and 8 offer different ways to interact with iOS. How long will Apple keep these parallel versions of iOS for phones? Then there's Touch ID, which just made its way to the MacBook Pro. Is that going away on iPhones in general? Will they go all in with OLED or stick to LCD for some models and OLED for the premium one? How many different iPhones can there be at one time? And the most pressing question for Apple in 2018 is, how does Siri become relevant, especially in the home? Remember when Apple integrated Siri into the iPhone 4S in 2011? It was a big leap ahead. But then Amazon and Google just blazed past Apple in the voice assistant category. Siri is in the Apple TV now, and it's okay. Siri will be in the HomePod as well, which is not out yet. Apple needs to figure out how Siri can be what it was originally intended to be, an assistant. Siri needs to be reliable, intelligent, and be able to work with tons of products. So how does Apple do this? I don't know, throw money at the problem? That might help. We'll have to see what moves Apple makes in 2018 and if it really answers any of our questions. What do you think Apple should address in the new year? Let us know. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.